Everyone, Dan here from the Geek Physique and with my awesome client, Dan. <laughs> He's just finished his first eight weeks with us. And we're just going to go through some questions to see how his time has been in the last eight weeks. So you just touched on a really good point there when we started, Dan. I just want you to share, how do you think the last eight weeks have been for you? Uh, yeah, it's definitely been different. Obviously, I'm not used to exercising and normally just used to suck my ass and not doing anything. So yeah, it's definitely been a different side of me that I've quite like seeing good i'm glad to hear that man and you've got a family as well have they had any kind of input on the change that you've gone through um my family have always been a big part of this for me because obviously dealing with m my um health conditions and stuff it's definitely been the biggest push for me just to keep moving forward to get that better health to be around for my family i love it man i love it and you mentioned before, like exercising wasn't really something that you you did very much. So where would you where were you at before you started with us? Um, where was I at? I was. Damn picture. Um, sorry about that. Um, okay. Where was I? I was more lazy not really worried about my health or anything um just slumping around so to speak when kids are at nursery or school or whatever not really doing much so it's been a big like i say it's been a big part of my change for the family because now i can actually run around with them and play with them so to speak that's amazing, man. So that's a big, a big win right there. Something that a lot of people who have kids uh, talk to me about when we first speak is they want to be able to play with their kids. They want to have the energy, right? Be in that mindset. Um, and it's something that isn't really quantifiable. Do you know what I mean? Like you can measure yeah. inches, you can measure weight, but you can't, can't really put a price on that, you know? I definitely agree with that. Obviously, even with my meal plans and stuff, they're sort of, They've been joining in with my meal plan. So if I'm cooking a meal plan for the next day, I'll always give it them for dinner the night before. And then I'll have what's left in the meal plan. That's awesome. So they're getting their proteins and veg as much as possible as I am. Brilliant, man. That's great to hear. And what would you say your biggest struggle has been? And and how do you think you've overcome it in these eight weeks? Um definitely my biggest struggle was obviously when I was going through those family problems and I was completely stopped altogether not working out at all or having any motivation um and then getting back on track was the biggest struggle for me really um but as soon as I obviously set those reminders that we went through the weigh-ins and stuff like that did sort of give me that extra push again good stuff man I love it and that's just a, a key takeaway for anyone watching this at home. If you have got a lot on in your life, which basically all the guys we work with do, if you're working, you've got a family or both of those things, usually we have non-negotiables like we'll take, you know, you'll take your kids to school, you'll go to work, all those things. But we often leave ourselves at the back of that queue. Yeah. So it's really important to start treating yourself and the things that you want to do for yourself in the same way. So set yourself reminders block out your schedule, treat it like you would, you know, your work or or how you treat your family. So that's a massive win, man. And is there any feedback for us, you know, on the coaching, you know, our community, anything like that? Um, on the coaching side of things, no, I think you've done really well with obviously setting us up, well, setting me up personally with the right sort of exercises for me to do and stuff like that. Um in the community sort of things um me personally no. would be nice to see some of the other members of uh doing a live stream their stuff to, to, just you know trainer not just trainer to coach but more sharing themselves. individuals being able to talk to each other a bit more yeah yeah and just sort of helping each other through on whatever they're struggling with whether that's through a video, a post, or even a random live stream, just to sort of help people on what they're struggling with. 
And I, I, t I totally, uh, totally agree with you, man. I think it's it's different for everyone, right? Some people feel comfortable sharing in groups, some people don't. But I think it's like it only takes one person and then they will start. And, yeah. you know, we had a, a new guy join us, Travis, um, recently. Yeah. And I know you guys have been talking back and forth in the group, which is really great to see. You're both dads, right? And he shared his, um, took the time to share his story. So I think you're totally right. You know, the more the more people share, the more people will be comfortable sharing, the more people support each other, the more people will be comfortable supporting each other. And it just kind of, it's a snowball effect. You know what I mean? Yeah. Awesome, man. So I really value that feedback and I thank you for, for your hard work over the eight, uh, the next, the last eight weeks and uh, any last remarks you'd like to like to share, man. No, especially, um, I would say no, but yeah, to anybody, obviously that's willing to, Put the time in and the effort in the work you will see the reactions and you will see what we go through not what we go through because it's not like torture and punishment it's <laughs> good side of things it is hard work but you will see results so obviously don't second chance your own health basically always bring your health your mental health your health as a sort of a man bring it forward and sort of work on it because you will be in a happier place definitely man i, I completely agree with you and, and like i said thank you thank you for your hard work